Compton, here in Compton, Eric spent a lot of time because that's where his grandmother lives. But on that fateful night, he was visiting other, his other grandmother in Long Beach. Now, today, police announced that they arrested two people thanks to license plate readers and security video. But they believe there are others out there that could be held accountable as well. Eric Brown III loved to dance. He had big, big dreams, yes. But on May 9th, his dreams were dashed with a gang bullet. I miss my grandson a whole lot. The boy was visiting family in Long Beach. He was with two young teen girls when bullets flew. One bullet hit Eric, another hit a 14-year-old female. She survived. At this time, we believe there's nothing that indicates that the suspects knew the victims. Two months after his death, the Long Beach police announced the arrest of two suspects, 20-year-old Rashawn Struther of Cypress and his 21-year-old girlfriend, Desney Scipio of Long Beach. We believe this incident stemmed from an earlier gang altercation not involving the victims. The male arrestee is a documented gang member. The female arrestee is believed to be his girlfriend. As I feel uh, relieved. I feel like uh, 10,000 pounds is lifted off my shoulders. The arrest offers some comfort for those who loved Eric. So do the memories of him from little boy to a preteen. It's like a little fly sometimes. It's like, stop. And then a few minutes later, it's like he's cracking jokes and he's he's gonna do a dance move and you're just you're just laughing at him. The two arrests do not signal the end of the investigation. It's believed there are other suspects. It's like Eric's not gone because they're keeping Eric living by bringing us to justice because he deserves to be remembered. Mm -hmm. Remembered and the suspects forgiven. You have to learn how to forgive people no matter what they do to you. You know, you really do. And if, you know, it, when you do, it's a whole lot easier on you. Well, not only is Eric's grandmother forgiving, she is also so thankful to Long Beach PD. She said that they made promises and came through. But Long Beach PD's chief reminds the public that there are still people out there that need to be questioned, and there is a $25,000 reward. Reporting live in Compton, I'm Susan Harasuna, Fox 11 News. Thanks.